All right, so we've done our first example here. And I guess uh, I, I want to give you a couple more examples. So uh, let, let's just continue. The next example, I'll keep it relatively simple. So we have example two, which is going to be the function x squared plus y squared uh, is equal to one. Well, that's not really a function. This, again, is a way of defining y as a function of x implicitly. There's the idea that I could solve for y if I wanted to. And indeed, let's do that. So if you solve for y here, what happens is you get y squared is equal to 1 minus x squared, and y is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 minus x squared. So this, if you like, is the uh, implicit definition. And here is the explicit function y as a function of x. And now, just for my own convenience, I'm just going to take the positive branch, right? This is the function. Let's uh, just draw it right above here, right? It's really a circle in disguise. And I'm just going to take the top part of the circle. So we'll take that, that top hump. All right, so that means I'm erasing this minus sign. I'm just taking the positive branch. Just for my convenience, I could do it just as well with the negative branch. All right, so now I've taken the solution and uh, I can differentiate this. So uh, rather than using this dy by dx, notation over here. I'm going to switch notations on over here because it's less writing. And I'm going to write y prime and change notations. OK, so I want to take the derivative of this. Well, this is a somewhat complicated function here. It's the square root of 1 minus x squared. And the right way always to look at functions like this is to rewrite them using the fractional power notation, all right? That's the first step in computing a derivative of a square root. And then the second step here is what? Somebody want to tell me? What? Chain rule. Yeah, that's good. Chain rule, that's it. So we have two things. We have start with one, and then we do something else to it. So whenever we do two things to something, we need to apply the chain rule. So 1 minus x squared, square root.